Hello everyone. Welcome to our video presentation regarding our major project. My name is Shishu Pramanik and my colleague Alankrita Sarkar would be taking you through a walkthrough of our major project which is based on text recognition and detection. We have used various techniques to do that. Now as we saw the text is omnipresent in our lives and nowadays with the surge of digitization communication through written text is less and when done there is found a need to digitize it as well so automatically reading and detecting from natural scenic images and handwritten documents notes can become an important part of our daily lives so what we've done is basically combine three very unique processes together which is optical character recognition print text text recognition and handwritten character recognition so this is a very unique technique since we've made sure that all these are combined together and uh, we would be presenting you um, an overview and let's start by describing the code so here we go stay tuned so first we will be going through an overview of the code and to do that, I have with me opened a folder which contains all the files which are required in this project. So let's move over to the Python file where we have defined all our stuff. And I'll be taking you through a walkthrough of um, how we've used it and what are the constraints which we've designed. So first we have used a, a few libraries here like NumPy, PyTesseract and ArchParse. And we've imported them into our python file and um, then then here we have defined a function here called decode predictions and that basically determines how much geometry based scores are going to be initialized and um, put into columns and rows so to do this we've made sure that um, there is a proper iteration of all the probabilities across the image so to do this we've um, basically extracted the number of rows and the number of columns and extracted their scores so we are treating the scores as probabilities here and these will uh, will be giving us uh, potential bounding boxes and coordinates that surround text or basically boxes which are trying to bound the text around it so um, as you can see we've uh, defined uh, some variables here and these variables are going to be later used in calculating um, the exact values and probabilities so um, since uh, we have to iterate over all the columns so uh, we have to make sure that if the image or if that score of that particular uh, text has sufficient probability we make sure it passes through if it doesn't we ignore it over here so the minimum underscore confidence variable is computed and uh, we've also made sure that if there is a rotation of images or there is some skewed images we de-skew them through our uh, rotation angles so we've defined sine and cosine values for each bounding box so in case uh, Im an image gets uh, inverted or even rotated a bit we can be detecting it with no issues then we are constructing an argument parser and these arguments are basically parsed using um, some basic padding and uh, width uh, dimensions and uh, uh, height shaping so we have done that over here and um, we, you will understand it in the later part of the code so now comes the most important part where we are loading the input image and so to do that we have to make sure that the dimensions of the image are acceptable as input when we are trying to run the code so here we've done that from uh, a comparison with OpenCV2 images and we are actually copy uh, we are actually um, trying to analyze the um, original image with the data which we have so after doing that we have to resize the image and trying to make sure that our text detector runs so here our text detector runs and make sure that all the constraints are met and 
we've applied some padding to each of the side of the bounding box and then we are returning it right over here as output so we are looping over all the results all the times the text is coming over again and again and uh, we're also making sure that non-ASCII text is not there so we can draw text on the image so that was all about the code now we will be moving on to the output so moving on to our first task we will be using OCR technique to determine what text is in the image and to do that we already have a sample image with us so uh, in the root directory of our project we will be opening a command prompt and we can do that by either just typing cmd over here and just to make sure that the image path is given as input we make sure that we write it down and to do that uh, so we just put it as input and right here now we will run it so as soon as you run it the uh, input gets analyzed by the east text detector and it will soon be giving an output so as you can see we have the word, the letters and the characters determined absolutely with 100% accuracy here so that was all about the OCR so now we will be using the same code to detect printed text and we already have a sample image with us let's see how much accurate we can get a derived result for that so to do that we will be opening the cmd right over here and after opening it we will be trying to give the image path and then we already have an input image so this is what we will define and after defining it we have got a detector to get an output so we are getting the result from the image here and as well as this so and it's coming on to our uh, output so here you can see that uh, the text is being recognized and this is printed text so till now we have done uh, OCR and printed text now we will be moving on to the handwritten part and to do that we already have our uh, images and we will be selecting a couple of images to show you how handwritten text works so we still have the same code and we will be referring to it and so let's start with our usual command prompt so after opening it up we will be pasting the file path as usual and the name of the image here is dd.jpg let's see if it works or not so the name was Sandeep and here you can see the image so uh, since the last letter was uh, not fully visible uh, we had a sort of an error otherwise all the first six characters were absolutely correct now let's see if this works for another image let's open the command prompt again input the image and the image was this so let's check it out if it works and okay so we will we have some very interesting results okay uh, so um, there are six seven characters which are absolutely correct and for ma'am all the characters are correct so we have a very good accuracy rate so you as you can see handwritten texts also work with our code and with that same code we have been able to establish a link between OCR printed text and handwritten handwritten images so that was an overview through the implementation we have successfully made sure that printed text OCR as well as handwritten text can be easily recognized by our python script uh, so our algorithm has been mentioned as you can see so but then moving on to our conclusion we have combined OCR as, uh, and handwritten detection and all these recognition systems and uh, moreover this overall handwritten printed text recognition system is a multi-task deep neural network our model was trained in a semi-supervised way thus giving enough space for variations that one may find in unsupervised learning and control that one may get in supervised learning 
this system is able to detect a range of OCR images, printed text from natural images, and even arrange textiles and identify the content of these correctly. One of the highlights of our work was treating the single neural network layer and in a super supervised, semi-supervised method and using that so successfully to implement three different techniques into one. We hope this semi-supervised solution for training a localization network could open up a new direction for future research, not only for text but also in the domain of object detection and recognition.